Howdy, folks. So I've been working on replacing some fence posts. And, uh, you know, I'd, I've tried a few different uh, um, options to remove these fence posts that were uh, broken off kind of down at the base. And, uh, you know, I've seen some things on YouTube. And none of them worked really well. Um, and I tried uh, screwing a, a plate down and, and, you know, pulling up on it. And the wood on these, uh, that's a new, that's a new post, by the way. Uh, but the wood on these old posts is just too rotted. Um, so the thing that has actually, uh, worked really well is, uh, an approach that the, um, the dad of the neighbor behind me, he worked for the utilities and did a, a ton of, um, you know, uh, earth kind of work. And he has this approach. Uh, it's been super useful for me, and I thought I'd share it with you. So the gist of it is, is uh, you've got a, a post. Imagine there was a post kind of right where that, where that spud bar is. Broke off at the base. And what you do is you dig a post hole uh, right next to the concrete. And, uh, and basically you just like chip out the concrete on one side and then with the spud bar, you just kind of, kind of pry the uh, the post out from the side. And uh, once it pops out, let's see if I can get this. Well, that's in there. Still needs a little work. But uh, once it pops out, then uh, you just drive the new post into the concrete, and then uh, kind of fill up the hole with some new concrete. I've actually, I didn't want to waste all that concrete, so I actually kind of put a plywood divider in there and only filled up half the hole with concrete and backfilled with dirt. So anyway, um, with this approach, uh, you know, even a out of shape uh, old guy like me can uh, get these posts out in, you know, about an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. Um, and uh, I hope you find it useful. All right, take care, bye.